Okay, so I went a little old school with my slides. There's no presentation, it's like just text. Pulled out the old school ASCII art there. Um, so uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit, little bit about EXTJS. Um, and uh, I called this presentation UI morphing just because it's like, it, it's not really anything animated or anything, it's just changing a, a UI, a user interface after you've already got it done. Um, so, let me bring up my browser, I've got a demo. So I threw together this, this fake UI in um, using ExtJS. This is the this is the schedule for JSConf. Just load it up in a, in four grids. So the idea here is that the you know the customer or whatever has already like signed off on this layout. So you've built this this project and you know you've got some editable fields and all that cool stuff and you've got like delete features and add features and stuff like that all built in the UI. So with the EXTJS you can change all of that really easily. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, if anybody wants to find me, I'm on most everywhere as Vinyl Fox. And I have the code for today's presentation um, on GitHub as well. And I like bacon. There was no bacon this morning. There wasn't any, I was kind of disappointed there was no bacon. Um, I was actually going to have a plate full of bacon right up here. It just, <laughs> it just, you know, we got like quiche or something. What's that? There were no ponies for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I work with the XTJS a lot. I'm a, um, a committer on their their project, um, and uh, I wrote the Learning EXTJS book that's out right now. So my first example, I just call it A. That's the one we just looked at. This. This is pretty standard EXTJS features, it's their grid component, their editor grid component, uh, a couple other things like JSON reader and, and uh, just really standard stuff. So what I'm going to do is pretend that the client came and said, you know, I just don't like this layout anymore, this four side by side. So let's, let's make it into tabs or something. So we'll put all the grids into their own tab. So the difference between having four grids side by side and four grids in, in four separate tabs, um, here's an example of the diff between that. So we're only looking at, you know, uh, two lines removed and three lines added. And all of our features still work. You can still edit the fields. You know, you can still add. All this stuff still works the same as when the panels were side by side. Now, that, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty straightforward one. So let's move on to another example. So my next example is, is um, 
a variation of the, the first two, basically. So it's going to be grids side by side, but they're in tabs as well. This is a pretty typical thing a client might do, is come to you and say, you know, yeah, I don't want those in four tabs now. I just want them in two and put them side by side. Again, everything stays the same. All the editing still works, all the adding, all that good stuff. So the difference there was just a little bit more, but a lot of it is really just configurations. And actually, a big chunk of it is just tabbing, because I like, tabbed everything out properly. <laughs> div minus i shows ignores white space, I think, or div minus Oh, does it? W, maybe? <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. Without the white space, see, that's a lot less. So, you know, a dozen lines and your UI is all changed now. Okay, so now we're going to take this layout and introduce an editor, an editor on the side. So the editor is activated by double click. This is a, a pretty standard EXT form panel. So we can change text in here. Hit save, and it updates our grid. Works with the track B grid, grid as well. So it's all tied together. So the difference between those two is, is pretty um, pretty minor, because we're really just here. Let me um, clear the screen and do that again. So the difference there is pretty minor, because um, we're just adding that editor panel onto the side. What did you use for your ASCII art? <laughs> It's like, uh, it's just a website where you go and type it in. It's like, if you search for ASCII text, it'll be like the third hit or something. It's All right, so the next thing we're adding is a viewer. So this is going to be like to preview the data. So now I've got a single click for my viewer down at the, the lower right corner. My editor still works on the double click. The layout's been changed, but everything's still tied together. Everything still functions. Everything's still like hooked up, wired up. So in, in EXT, everything's built in like um, components. And, and mostly for the UI stuff, they're built into what they call panels. Um, like, like right here, we've got three panels. Well, roughly. The two grids count as panels, too. And these things can be moved all over the page. How's it going? So these things can be moved all over the page, and they're 
interaction with each other stays the same. So we've got you know our delete, our edit, all that cool junk. Single click, you get the preview. And I changed it so that the edits on the left, this looks pretty awesome in this small resolution, but uh, changed it so that the previews on the, on the right there, the edits on the left, double click. Even though we changed our layout, everything's still tied together, everything still works. So each of these components are basically firing off events to, you know, to, to trigger these actions. So they don't, they don't care where they are in the layout. Just fire off an event and you listen for it and it does it. You want to see the diff between those two? <laughs> it's probably pretty small too. So I think that's ENF. Yeah, I mean, we're just moving things from, from left to right. So it's only a couple lines of code to change. But the cool thing about it is that all of our, all of our interaction stays the same. Okay, so the next one gets a little better. Well, that is not the right one. Hold on. Okay, so our next one gets a little better. Um, so now our edit and our preview is gone. But that's because we've, we've changed how they show up. This time they're in a window instead of in the main panel. So if I single click, I get a window for the view. And if I double click, I get a window for the edit somewhere. Oh wait, I haven't done the edit yet. Hold on, just doing the view first. <laughs> okay, so. I'm just changing how the view works, how, it, how everything's displayed. Everything's still tied together through these events. So these events fire off, and we just decide how to handle them. So let's see, what, what, uh, what letter were we on? We're on I? No, let me spin on H. So I set up these, these events that happen in the UI. And then these are the, 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 the handlers that are taking the, the result of that event happening. You want to see the diff? Of course. <laughs> see what we've got. OK. So that was between F and G. So that was just, oh, that was the one where we moved from the left to the right, I think. This is hard to keep track of these letters. Well, somehow I'm on I, but I think I skipped some of the diffs. OK. So here's the change that made the preview open in a window instead of 
previewing in the, the panel on the right side. Um, not many lines, and from the user standpoint, that's, that's a pretty big change from the end user, what they see. Okay, I want to make sure I got the right one here. So it should be a single click to view. Double click to edit. I'm not sure why my double click's not working though. It was working earlier, of course. So let's go to the very last one. J. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> this is a uh, this is horrible on this tiny screen, but all our tabs are now windows. They still interact with themselves the same. They still, they're still, you know, they're tied to a preview. So we can go and click on these different things we get. We get the preview and the double click to edit. So even though everything went from being like a, kind of a flat interface where everything's in panels all shown at once to a windowed interface, all the interactions still happen the same. So we can change stuff and save it here, and it updates on the grid. And this is really because of these, um, these events that we've set up, these custom events. Um, so what I've done here is set up just four events on a um, uh, what EXT calls an observable, so which is just a, a really simple component that you can um, you can you know fire events through. So I've set up those four events, and then down later on in my code, set up the handlers for those those events. So the UI doesn't care at all you know, what it looks like. These events still fire and, um, and uh, act as they, they normally would. So, um, does anybody have any questions about that? No, just kind of. I was a little bit late, but you show how you built the UI with the kind of version? The first, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll show you what the, so this is, um, this is what we started out with. So just four grids side by side. Um, these grids, they all have this edit function in them. In this case, you know, it's, it's built right in. It's an inline editor. Um, the delete actions all work, add, all that kind of stuff. So from there, the next step. Oh, you know, there's really yeah. cool I'm sorry. Yeah. I've also got the source code up on GitHub if you want to look at it. There's the GitHub repo for it. Um, But I mean, this is the this is the guts of it right here. This is um, where the application is all set up. Um, like I said, it's using EXT for all the UI work. So we're creating a bunch of EXT components here, creating a manager that 
that you can relay events through and uh, tying them all together. Um, so for instance here I've got like my main grid. Um, this main grid the, is what EXT calls an editor grid, which is right there. I set up some basic stuff for it, like how to store the data, um, how to display the data. So like the first thing in there is, is setting up a store. That's where all the data is stored. comes in as JSON, and that the store normalizes it to be used um, by EXT. So the, the data could come in as XML or whatever wacky format like CSV and and uh, EXT will normalize it so it can be used anywhere in EXT components. Um, these are some events that I'm kind of relaying to, to make my own custom events. Like I take the row select and I, I relay it through my manager and call it the view schedule item event. The double click. Again, relay it through the manager. Edit, you know. The add relays to an add event. Um, the next item is the editor, which I think shows up in D. So that's the editor panel. Um, this is a, a form panel, what EXT calls a form panel. So this is almost like, this is almost boilerplate code, you know. It's really just setting up configurations. Um, then I've got a view panel. So my view panel is activated on the single click down here, and uh, it's just some, it's like some fragments of HTML, and um, it uses uh, ext x templates to to display the data. Um, so actually this is kind of a really, this is a really neat thing in EXT. They have these X templates and the, the HTML that's used to render that little, um, that little section in the, the lower right, that actually comes right out of the document itself. It's in this text area that's in the body. And it's got some, you know, variables in there that are replaced when it renders. So that's the gist of it. Um, you know, if you want to uh, download the code and, and play with it, it's, uh, it's you know, it, it would be like a good base if you're starting out to build an EXT app. It'll give you a good foundation to kind of build off of. Um, so enjoy. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can find me on GitHub as Vinyl Fox. Vinyl Fox. All right. Thanks, guys.